Hi guys, Pope Freckle Dot, and today I have another video for you. Today we're doing a simple card um, I had in mind for a little girl's dance recital to give her a little card, so that's what we're going to be doing. I'm just folding the card here, and then I'm going to fold another piece of cardstock. I'm going to cut it down to the card size that I'd like and I'll have all the dimensions and stuff down in the description. I'm lining up the cards so I could cut the other cardstock at the same length. And then I'm going to just cut the front of that card off and that'll be the base of my card because so we're going to make a shaker card so this will be the front of it that will go on top of the of that card right there just like that. Alright and this is from Ribbons and Glue um, girl that on Instagram and she was selling some of her used stamps and I had bought some from her and that was from Echo Park there's my Versa mark watermark and I took the little pony or I guess the horse and I'm gonna stamp it on there all over the card and you can't see Versa mark on camera so but you'll see it here in a minute. But I go all over the card, different angles. There's my embossing powder. I'm using clear embossing powder from Ranger. And I'm going to pour that all over. Just getting the excess, excess powder off. Okay, here is my heating tool. Um, this heats up the powder and allows it to become more visual. So you'll see it's kind of hard to see those um, stamps, but you'll see them. There we go. You can see a little bit better. And they get better. So the more you heat it up, the more visual it gets. So. But just make sure you don't get it too hot and then it's a melty mess. Okay, I'm going to take another stamp from this stamp collection, the beautiful stamp. And this ink I got from Michaels and I am really impressed. It was like 99 cents on like the end cap and I love the color. It was purple and um, I thought I would try it and I'm glad I did because 
It's a really good ink. It's very pigmented. Here I'm just measuring. I'm going to make a little banner. And I'm just making sure that when I stamp it, the beautiful won't get cut off. I'm pressing it through the ink a couple times. I do this with any other, any ink, really, just to make sure I got a good, good amount of ink on there. And there we go. Like I said, I really like this ink. It was like 99 cents at Michael's, and they have a variety of different colors. And it has a little sparkle in it too, so it worked out perfect. And I'm just cutting this into the banner. And I'm going to trim it down a little bit more there on the bottom. And then I decided, well, I'd better see if it's even. So I cut up a little bit on the end there. Perfect. Now I'm folding a crease on each side. And I decide, oh, I need a little bit bigger space there. So I crease that right there. And I do the same thing on the other side. Give it a good crease. And here you can't see, I went off camera, but I'll come back and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, so then you take that crease right there, like I did, and then you crease it kind of like accordion. Like you did to paper, you know, you make it accordion. And then it just pops up just like that. And then, I'm looking for my scissors and all this mess you cut to the middle right there and you're going to go to the corner and you're going to cut to that line that you cut in the middle and then you're going to do that corner and cut to the line in the middle and mine was kind of uneven there a little but you can fix it it's no big deal and you're going to do that to both sides so that side and then the other side Okay, now that my paper has cooled off and I know everything is dry, I'm going to make a circle. I don't have a circle die cut, so this is just what I use to cut a circle. Um, it works just fine. I don't mind cutting it out, but it would be easier if I had a die cut, um, but I don't. So, it'd be a good Christmas gift. <laughs> so I just cut this out. Fast forward it. Okay. Then I have my circle. See, it's not that bad. And then um, I'm going to take some clear. This is just packaging from like 12 by 12 paper.
de adhesive all my around my circle make sure I get a good seal there and it works out just great perfect Alright, and in order to make your shaker card, you need to have some depth in your, or I guess dimension, in your um, card. So I'm adding um, this mounting tape all around the card. And then you'll see me do all four sides. And then you'll add another layer of this after getting the first one down. So there's two layers of it. And that just gives you room for your little sequins or whatever you want to put in there. It gives it room to move around. So I'm taking off this, the back, to make it sticky. That's my second layer right there. I'm taking off all the sticky parts. Okay, I bought these at Michael's in the craft, the kids craft section. And I know, see, it comes with, let's see, 14 different kinds. The other one was 12. I know when you buy those, these little sequence things, for a little thing like that, it's like $2.99. I got the both of those packs I just showed you for $2.99. And I got 14 glitter ones and 12 sequins. So um, that was in the kids' craft section. And I thought that was a good, a good buy. So Okay. And I did this kind of backwards. But that's okay. I made it work. See how cute that is? Shake, shake, shake. I think that's so cute. These are so fun to play with. Of course, that's what I do here for a while. I just keep shaking it. And then we're gonna adhesive that down. And this card, my lighting's not that great. It will be, I'm working on that. It's a slow process, but um, during the day, this card is really cute. It's not a lot of colors. But it just reminded me of a ballerina or, you know, a dance recital for a little girl, so. And there's my card. I just love it. Maybe give the little girl some flowers in this beautiful card. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want to see something different on here or what you guys like to see. But thanks for coming by, and please subscribe.